today our hearts are mourning as we wake to the national tragedy of fires that engulfed the female dormitory at Madia Secondary School, where it is confirmed that over 20 persons have lost their lives and many others are seriously injured. The pain, the tragedy, the loss. In moments like these, we can only turn to the God of all comforts, who alone can comfort the hearts of the hurting. As a faith community, we empathize with our brothers and sisters, the people of Madhya, as they try to grapple with this devastating loss. Today, our prayers are sent, along with many others, to our Heavenly Father on their behalf. Join me as we pray this morning. Our gracious God and Father, we come before you on the invitation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has invited us to come boldly to your throne of grace, that we may obtain grace and mercy. Today, O oh Lord, our hearts are broken. We are devastated. We are hurting. Uh, hear the cry of your children as parents cry out for their children who have perished in this fire. Lord, a community is hurting. A nation, our nation is hurting today. And we pray that you will bring comfort, that you would bring solace to those uh, uh, who are directly affected and by extension uh, to, to, to our nation. We pray, God, for your hand of mercy and healing upon those who uh, were survivors of this tragedy. As the team of medical professionals attend to them, O oh God, we ask that you will work through them and that you will bring comfort and, and relief and healing. We pray that you will deliver them and save them from post-traumatic disorders, O oh God. We ask that you will provide uh, the necessary comfort and counsels to your people. We thank you, God, for the coordinated response of our leaders to this national tragedy. We pray that in their response, counselors and therapists will be provided for the people of Madia for the parents, for those who have lost loved ones in this tragedy, that they, O oh Lord, will be able to, to, to go through this situation. We ask, dear God, that you will, uh, in a special way, come close to them. May they feel your presence as never before. Father, we ask that you will be merciful. Do not forsake us, uh, but reach down to us and help us today as we grapple with this. We can only turn to you who, as our God, we know you are able to bring comfort. You said that you will never leave us nor forsake us. You've promised that when we mourn, you will comfort us. And so we cry to you today, bring comfort to these people. Bring healing to hurting hearts and, and, and families react in the name of Jesus. Amen.